Today I'd like to go ahead and show you guys some tips and tricks on how I went and retouched this covered bridge landscape photo I took. I recently took a day drive down over to Eagle, Colorado and I was just going along the highway along the river here and I saw this covered bridge that actually goes over to the golf course and they're pretty much closed for the season since it is winter time. So I went ahead and I pulled off the side of the road, walked on up to this location and this is where I took this photograph and it was a perfectly clear sunny day. So there was really no clouds so I wanted to get up close to where the cottonwoods would kind of fill in the picture and make the composition looks pretty cool here. And I want to show you the before and after. So the before shot looks like this and here's the after shot. Now on the before I shot in raw format so all the colors are really flat but I did store a lot of good information with the shoot and raw which I'm able to bring the colors out in Lightroom here. Now real quick my settings on this photograph. I had my exposure set at 1 60th of a second. Aperture at 9.0. My ISO was at 64. Um, a lot of cameras, uh, the higher end cameras, you usually could drop your ISO down to about 64 or even lower. Otherwise you want to stick to at least 100 if that's what you have on your camera. And I also had a UV filter on my camera. And then I set it at about 24 millimeter, which basically was able to get the shot here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go do a reset on this. And this is what I pretty much started with. So the first thing I wanna do here is I'm actually gonna do is take my highlights down to about 72. And let's take my shadows pretty much all the way up. One advantage of shooting raw format, it does, like I said, once again, it does store a lot of good information and I'm able to bring the inside of this covered bridge out. Okay, next thing I do, I'm gonna go where the whites are here. I'm going to hold my Option key on my Mac, which is your Alt key on Windows. I'm going to hold down and click, and I'm just going to pull it. And I'm going to blow out the whites just a little bit. And same thing on the blacks. I'm holding my Option key on my Mac, and I'm just going to pull over, and I'm just going to bring some of the blacks in. Now what I'm going to do is scroll down under the HSL color in black and white. And I want to be under saturation here. And I always love manually controlling all the colors on the saturation. So let me go ahead and do some quick adjustments here. And as I'm going along here, I'm looking at the photograph. And I want to pull... I'm actually going to pull the oranges way up on this one to help bring more of the natural colors. And the yellows. And I'm kind of going along, just kind of checking the sky. Make it maybe just a little bit deeper blue. And right about there, I do like all the colors. So next thing I'm do is I'm going to scroll down under sharpening. And I would like to sharpen up this image just a little bit more than what it already is. So let me go ahead and let's go up to about 71. I'm going to hold my option key down, which is your alt key on Mac. And let's go ahead and sharpen. So basically it's sharpen everything in the white. So I'm going to pull this over just to get the detail. And I'm liking it right about there. And that already is making this picture pop just a little bit better. Noise reduction. Um, there's really not much noise on this photograph. Maybe just a smidge. I was using a newer camera I've recently purchased, the Nikon D810. I sold my D750. And this new D810, the noise reduction is so much better. And not to mention the D810 has now dropped in price since the new D. 850 has come out so if you are looking at purchasing a full frame camera that's definitely a really good one so i think just for the heck of it i'm going to pull the luminance up to about 11. now under lens correction i'm just gonna hit enable profile correction and as you can see the difference there as i click off I click on you can see it flattens it out quite a bit now under the transform tab i'm just going to go ahead and click auto and it did level it up just a little bit so as you can see, as I hit it off and on, it definitely makes a little bit of difference. Now under effects, under highlight priority, especially these day photographs, I like to do is go ahead and drop this down to about seven. And as you see, as I drop it way down, you can see it gives a pretty cool effect there, but that's a little too extreme. And then if I go the other way, it goes all white. So you can actually make cool effects with this. But what I'm gonna do is just take this down to about negative, uh, let's take it about, 
negative nine. I'm just trying to bring a little more shade around the outer edge where the eye just naturally flows towards the bridge here. I'm gonna leave the grain alone, but dehaze, I will bump this up just a little bit. So I'm gonna take that to about five. Now there's only a handful of more things I wanna do here just to really make this picture pop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is under clarity, let's go ahead and bump this up to about 12. And then vibrance, I do love using this. Uh, I'm just gonna pull this over just to bring the colors out just a little bit more. And let's just barely bump the saturation to about seven there. Now one last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna hit the brush here. Make sure my exposure is up to about say 35. I'm gonna scroll my mouse on my wheel to adjust the size of the brush. And now I'm gonna basically left click down and I'm gonna paint the inside of this a little bit. And I'm gonna paint up on top here too. And what I'm trying to do is just make this pop just a little bit here. Now I can come back over and just pull the exposure. Maybe just kind of bring it up a little bit. And I also wanna do is add the saturation just a little more too. Now the very last thing I wanna do is on under contrast here. Let me just go ahead and just slowly bring the contrast up just a little bit more there. So I went to about a 10. And let's check out the before and after here once again. So here's the before picture where it looks really flat. And here's the after picture. Uh, definitely a lot more color in it. So anyways, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, hit that like button down below. And share this video with anybody you think this could possibly help them out. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. You have yourself a really good one.